Prince Harry is no longer a prince, evidence claims. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's decision to step down from their royal duties, their move to California, and their separation from the royal family are some of the most significant events in recent British history. Due to the uniqueness of the situation, the details of their new roles are rather unclear. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle recently made a trip to Nigeria, similar to a royal tour in every sense but with a different name. This reportedly made King Charles and Prince William quite furious. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The level at which Harry has emerged from being a royal is still unclear, but a clue on his son's birth certificate shows that he could have even given up the prince title, per we got this covered. Royal detectives noticed that the Sussex's eldest son, Prince Archie's birth certificate listed Prince Harry's full name as His Royal Highness Henry Charles Albert David Duke of Sussex. Why the prince is missing? When compared to the birth certificates of Prince William and Kate Middleton's children, George, Charlotte, and Louis, where the Prince of Wales is listed as His Royal Highness Prince William Arthur Philip Louis Duke of Cambridge, Prince Archie's one seems very odd. Similarly, on Prince William and Harry's birth certificates, King Charles III, then a prince is recorded as His Royal Highness Prince Charles Philip Arthur George Prince of Wales. Since Harry has a longer title than any of the other royals, it might seem that the absence of the word prince is merely an oversight. However, as for Harry, who knows his full and proper title by heart, he will not forget such an important part of it intentionally. This is important since the Duke and Duchess of Sussex decided to exit the royal family only a few months after their son was born and withdrew from their positions as senior members of the royal family in January 2020. Notably, Meghan used her birth name on Archie's birth certificate, with her title listed as Rachel Meghan Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Sussex, and role was recorded as the Princess of the United Kingdom. Princess Lilibet's birth certificate, born in June 2021 in Santa Barbara listed Harry's the Duke of Sussex as his first name and Ho's Royal Highness as his surname. The Duke can no longer use his Royal Highness after stepping down from his royal duties. This discrepancy poses certain questions about the attitudes of Prince Harry towards his royal status. This implies that he could have possibly not wanted to be referred to as a prince even though he bestowed princely titles onto his children. The absence of the title prince for Archie on his birth certificate is a conscious decision, and not a mistake is seen with his father and William. On the other hand, it could also point towards a lack of attention to detail which does not seem very probable given the significance of these documents. According to a royal expert, the familial mess between Prince Harry and Prince William is expected to become even thornier in the future. The late Princess Diana's former butler, Paul Burrell, believes Harry is taking another step closer all the time to isolation. In a recently published New York Post report, the royal insider claimed that even the royals are just letting him get on with it now. He also purported how Harry will be destructive to his brother once he ascends the throne. Since the Duke of Sussex parted ties with the royal family, and his regal duties in 2020 to chart his solo path alongside his wife, Meghan Markle, in California, his relationship with the royal lot, has significantly soured. Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie are the only standing exceptions still maintaining their friendship with Harry and Markle, but even that reportedly worries Kate Middleton. As for the connections with his family, Burrell firmly stands by the belief that Harry has pressed the self-destruct button, something that possibly wouldn't have blown out of proportion had the late Princess Diana still been in the picture. Burrell seemingly has a bone to pick with the Duke, for whom he assumes there is a time scale to his destruction.